So was there ever any fear behind the way you was moving in the streets? Hell yeah. 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 A lot. I mean, I think it was it wasn't fear, it was cautiousness, me being cautious. Like, cause mm-hmm. I I know what can happen. I've seen stuff happen like I rode to, example, I rode to Atlanta with my sister. We supposed to move down there. Mm -hmm. We rode down there with two of our homeboys that was going to drop us off. Mm -hmm. We ended up going to Allen Temple where DG Yola from. Okay. They didn't tell us nothing. What they had planned on doing was picking up some pills and robbing the people. Mm. It didn't go like that. Yeah. We sitting in the car, me and my sister. They go in, do the business. They come out, the two niggas come out with them. Guns to their back, walking to the car. So I'm young. I ju- I just hit the streets. Right. My sister tell me she's like, "Oh shit, they, we finna get robbed." So I'm sitting mm-hmm. there like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. This is my first time dealing with some shit like this. She mm-hmm. like, "We finna get robbed." So she was like, "Just chill, just chill." So I just sat back. I'm like, "Oh my god, it was just some real gangster shit finna yeah. happen." So the niggas come back. They like, "Where the money at? Where the money at?" So we telling them like, yeah, "We sure. getting dropped off. We don't know shit." So yeah. he like checked the glove compartment. So I pulled the glove compartment down. It's a whole bunch of bullet shells in there. Mm. Shut it back real quick. I'm like, oh my God. So they tell us to get out the car. We get out the car, whatever. They got the guns like they about to shoot the shit out these niggas. Yeah. So I'm sitting there with my my hands over my ears like this. Mm. Like, oh my God. My sister, like, just chill, just chill. So they kept the niggas. They was like, y'all pull off. It's by the grace of God, y'all see these niggas again. Damn. We pulled off. A lot of you not with the family dollar. We panicking. We calling motherfuckers in Charlotte like shit. We da 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 da. da. We come back up the street. They on the corner with they fucking drawers on. Mm. Nothing. Just yeah. at the corner standing there with they drawers on. We put, they get back in the car. This ain't funny, but it's funny. They get back in the car, bro. They start driving. Guess what came on? What? Motherfucking uh, ludicrous. Roll out. <laughs> like 40. I said, oh, they had knots all on the back of their head, bro. When Damn. I say me and my sister was in the back laughing. And y'all like, in the fuck, A. In Atlanta. Damn. You know, drove back the whole way. They didn't say shit. Yeah, what the fuck can you the say? White boy, he tried that shit in Memphis and they killed him the next week. Damn, white boy, you was cool with? The, I, I didn't know him. We oh. was riding with my homeboy. Oh, he okay. knew him, so yeah. I guess they that's what they did. They was going around mm-hmm. trying to... So yeah, he got killed in Memphis the next week. But yeah, shit, I didn't... Whew. Yeah, but you stayed 10 toes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I seen a lot at a young age uh-huh. and I'm glad I did. Yeah, because that helps you... It's experience. Yeah. Life experiences. It helps you be sharp moving forward. 